Okay, welcome back to uh, another edition of You Suck at Photoshop, the After Don Years. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's see your teacher, uh, that hypothetical class that you're taking, uh, says your class uh, that your video is very cute and all, but it didn't have anything to do with Photoshop. So uh, today we're going to dive right in with some Photoshop. Uh, we're going to be doing two things. Uh, the thing I was talking about last video, that everyone uh, had to make uh, some smart-ass crack about the fact that... Um, that I did not mention how to resize the images. Uh, so let's, uh, let's jump right into that. And we're also going to show you how to make an action to uh, to repeat this so you don't have to keep doing it yourself over and over again. Um, <clears throat> yeah, why are we doing this? Because, because it's 2 o'clock in the morning and cat's keeping me up. Anyway, moving on here. So um, what we want to do is we want to resize our images. Now, most of our, our pictures are going to be a pretty, pretty good size image. So if you hit image, image size, and you'll see this is a really big picture compared to to this, which is about the size of a TV screen, actual pixel ratio. Where did I get this? Go to File, New, and uh, under the presets, go to uh, Film and Video. And most of the time you want to leave them on NTSC uh, DV. If you want to, if you're doing high def, Screw you, you have more money than me. Um, hit OK, and there you have it, the scale picture. Now, if you were to to just be uh, silly and, and drag the image over to that <clears throat> and uh, and then just rescale it, that's that's so, so not cool. But you can see how big the image is compared compared to the actual screen. So we're not we're not going to do that because this is um because <clears throat> Donnie, Donnie would not do it that way. Donnie would go. Go to uh, go to image and just resize the image manually. But what I want to show you how to do is if you're if you're doing a video like I was showing last time and the other other video, uh, you have to do this over again. So you want to create a new action. If you don't know where action, go to window and go up here to actions and uh, or you can press Alt F9 if you want. But um, it's the actions thing. And um, then uh, you just want to, you want to create a new action. So you click the little post-it note thingy. Uh, we're going to call this um, resizing action and uh, hit record. Okay, so there we have our resizing action. Now what we need to do is we need to re hit record, and it's it's running, I think. So we we have our image there, and all we got to do is go back to image, image size, and then just type in 720. Why, why 720? Okay, God, seriously. Your screen width of a TV screen is 720 pixels. Width of a TV screen is 720 pixels by 480. So you can see that my image isn't quite going to line up right, but that really doesn't matter because we're just trying to condense it for the love of God. Just hit OK. Just hit OK. All right, there it is. It resized it. And now we want to go to File. We want to go to Save As. Just click Save As. And now we want to navigate to our desktop to that folder that we made uh, again, that photo video folder. So if you if you don't have a photo video folder, just go to your desktop and just click the new folder and make a damn new folder. Uh, go to photo video folder and and we're just going to leave it like it is. That way, it'll just work. And then we hit OK. Now we've got our action that's running um, here. So uh, we need to go ahead and we need to stop our action. All right. Cool. Now the reason why that's so cool is because not only do we resize our image, but we still have our original image, and now we have the resized copy in a folder. So now all we got to do is click on our other images, come up here to do the resizing action, and just hit play. And now it automatically does it for us. And yay. Now we have so much more time to do other cool stuff because we don't have to spend our time resizing all of our photos so that we can merge them into videos so that we can post them on YouTube and send them to me. Um, so yeah, if you would, put some comments down there, rate this stuff, whatever. If this is useful for you, I'm really cool and I, I want to give you an internet high five from from here. So just smack your monitor or something.